Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter, the game where you get to engineer your perfect planet. Now the last video of this did really well, probably because you guys are pervs and you saw what was on the thumbnail, cheeky. But this is where we left off last time, we were growing our eggplants to terraform the planet. You may remember as well, I spunked most of my iron on the staircase to nowhere. <laughs> uh, but this is our base, our base looking good. We probably will be continuing the stairs, but I think for now we're going to try and play properly and we're we're going to get upgrading. I've just noticed we've unlocked a load of stuff. So let's have a look at this interface. Okay, so we've unlocked a telecommunication antenna. So if we get silicon, titanium, two irons and an aluminium, we can build that, which means we can also build this screen with two silicon, magnesium and some iron. And then we can receive transmissions. Oh, look at my plants. Look at my plants. So these are creating my oxygen. If we look up here, this is what we need to terraform the planet. We need oxygen, heat and pressure. That gives us an overall terraformation score, which is currently 21. KTI. If you look in the top left, we've got to reach blue sky. We need 175 KTI, not just an insane ladder to literally reach the sky. Right, so we need titanium and we need silicon. We've got some titanium here, so we can just got a bit more over there. And then silicon, we can that up as well. A little bit more. Magnesium is this pointy looking one. We've got some of that now. All right, so first off, we'll build our screen. And of course, that's going to go on the floor next to that one. And then the antenna, we need good signal. So we're going to head up our stairs. We're going to get to our mid station and we're going to jump on top of it. And we're going to build that on here. No, we're not because we can't. Can we? Oh, no, we can. We can. It's just huge. Oh, wow, it is. It's really huge. OK, so now we should have some communications down on our screen. So we'll head back down. I hope no one's got vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can really see my base from up here. It's the perfect shape. It's very, very efficient. And what does our first message say? No communication antenna. In oh, really? Fine. We're going to deconstruct this. We're going to head back up the stairs. Going to head in here, build the screen, and then... Ooh. Oh, okay. So that just explains why we're doing this. We're not like some hippie scientist from the future. Oh, look over there. I've just found another spaceship. But yeah, we are actually a convict. And rather than be in prison, we've, we've taken the sentence of doing our time terraforming a planet. If the terraformation does not occur, charges will not be dropped. And until it's terraformed, we cannot leave. So that's quite interesting. That's quite unexpected, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought we were a space hippie. All right, next up, I want to do some exploring. Can I craft a bigger backpack? Have I got the T3 backpack? I've only got the T2 backpack. I could increase my backpack so I can have a bigger inventory. I might do that before I go exploring. So we need one more aluminium and a silicon. Do I have any aluminium in these crates? Yes. And there's some silicon. So if we take our backpack off by clicking on it, it's now in our inventory. If we go into this, we can now craft the T3 backpack. Oh, there it is. Then we can equip it. Oh, look how much more inventory space we have. Right. And now I'm going for an explore. Do you remember last time over this direction? There was like a cave that was all gassy. I reckon that's probably worth investigating. I think it was a cave that was blocked with ice. Like there was one up there we saw. I think as you terraform the planet, like ice and stuff melts on it. So it unlocks like secret areas. I think this might be one of them. Now we're going to stay under our staircase first because I built like a temporary base, that one there. So rather than risking ourselves, we can come in here and top up our oxygen and then we're good to go. Look, there's the gassy stuff. So let's head over here and see what there is. Ooh, it's very, very gassy, like a gassy waterfall, gas of pool. Oh man, what is this? It's all yellow. Looks like pollen. Glad I don't have hay fever right now. Right, we're going in. Oh, what is what is in here? What is that? Iridium. Oh, that's really rare. Ooh, that is useful. Okay, iridium is good. Aluminium, also very rare. So we'll harvest all of these up. Oh man, this place is full. So much iridium and aluminium. Uh, we are running out of oxygen though. Now, thankfully, I did pack a couple of oxygen capsules so we can drink one of those. And now we have some oxygen and look over here, over a bridge. <gasps> it's the first bridge of the game. Right then, bridge review. I'd say that's just three rocks in the shape of a T. Two out of ten. Still, it's a bridge. What is in here? Open storage crate. Now, oh, I've got some space food. We can't make that ourselves yet. Oh, we got some uranium as well. Aluminium, a super alloy. That's good. Is that a gold crate? It looks very gold. Nice. Right, I'm going to head back. And we know if we ever need iridium, we can come to this cave. There is loads of it. Uh, the only trouble is, how the hell do I get out of here again? Oh, what is that? 
What is that? Oh, look. Melts at 100 NK. So we got to get the temperature up to a certain level or pressure. I'm not sure what one it is. Lots of units start with a K. I'm going to get... Maybe it's Kelvin. I don't know. Oh, I found another chest. Oh, we got some some more uranium. We've got a blueprint microchip. And we got more food. Man, I don't even know what I should do. Let's drink some water. Grab some more food. And then we really need to head back. I don't know how we get out of this place. I'm panicking a bit. I'm panicking. Help. <laughs> Help! Wait, are we out? We out? Yes, I think we're out. Okay, we're, that was scary. Our oxygen is running out. There's the nearest base that will give us some oxygen. I can't craft oxygen on the fly. I need to build a thing to craft it. So we're just going to have to run. I think we're going to be okay, though. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got the oxygen. Taking a breath. We're going to head back to our base. We're going to dump our stuff off in this crate. Oh, God, it's full. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? Almost full. So we're going to have to find some more iron. The most rare of resources when you build a load of stairs. Is that some? That's some iron. Oh, there's some more. Let's collect all this iron. It's another one. Another one. They look like little slug things, but they're not. They're iron. All right, we'll collect all of this. And we need to head back to base. We've used half our oxygen. Oh, we've received a new message as well. Oh, annoyingly, the message is up there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's build another storage crate for one iron. We can shove that there. We're going to fill it with the other bits of iron and a bit of uranium, apparently. Going to build another storage crate to go there. This one's going to be full of aluminium. Then you can see we've only got an oxygen tank T2. We can actually upgrade that now. We have unlocked the T3, so we just need our oxygen tank, which is fine. Iron, titanium, silicon, magnesium, and aluminium. We've already got aluminium and iron, so we'll grab some titanium, some silicon, and some magnesium. And then if we detach our oxygen tank, we can craft the T3 one. Oh, look at it. Then you can see our oxygen in the bottom left. That goes from 100 when it's not equipped to 200. 180. Right, and then it might be worth trying to like do some of these. We sort of focused on oxygen last time. We've got all of those plants up there. Oh my goodness. Holy. <laughs> that is an eggplant. That's a hell of an eggplant. All right, nice. Okay. So yeah, we that creates oxygen. We focused on oxygen last time. We should probably do some heat and some pressure. Oh, there you go. Heat. NK. We've got to get that up to 100,000 to melt some of the ice. And in our build menu, in order to create heat, we need a heater. Now, there's no point using a T1. That creates 0.3 heat a second. We need a T2. That creates 4.5 a second. So two iridiums, which have loads of now. Iron and aluminium. Got some of those stored up. We just need to go grab some silicon and titanium again. So there's our initial heater. It's only producing 0.3. But now we can craft the T2s. So we will shove one of them, I guess, somewhere like there. Oh, and we've got low power. Okay, so the higher the like tier of the things, they use more power up, which means everything stops working. Our eggplants are no longer growing. So we've got to fix that as soon as. So our best bet is to build a solar panel tier two. So we need all of those resources. So let's go do some mining. All right, so now we can build one of these. We'll just shove it anywhere. I think everything's wireless here. It doesn't really matter. We've got one. I'm going to do another one because I want to build another heater. So we've just mined some resources. We'll shove that there. There's a load of iron here. So I'll collect this up. Oh, we've got another message as well. We must go and read those in a second. I'm just very distracted by all the iron. I'll tell you what, this looks like very seafloor like i'm a little bit worried if we melt ice we might end up underwater don't know anyway let's head back i can't leave iron it's so valuable All right so let's build another heater let's grab some aluminium heater can go next to that one oh, warm All right and now we are producing some heat look at our actual terraformation number go up that's looking pretty good we've just unlocked this screen a progress screen it displays your progress on the different transformation stages quite intrigued by that shall we have a look we just need a couple blobs of silicon so there we go oh this is a wall tv okay i think i might shove this one on there behind all my storage so the current stage is barren the next stage is blue sky with 28 percent nice let's do a bit of pressure so at the moment over here this is our drill it's creating some pressure 0.2 npa is that like nano pascals what is pressure yeah we can now craft a T2 drill. That just takes an iron and two titaniums. So I think we'll do that. We'll plonk it next to it so you can see how much better it is. Oh, lovely. And that is making us 1.5. So very nice. If we shove a load of those down, we'll be rolling in it. All right, may have pushed it a bit far. It's nightime. We're running out of oxygen. We're running out of water. Ah, I'm stuck on a rock. Get up these stairs. Oof. 
Okay, that was close. That was a little bit close. We can drink some water to quench our thirst. Then we can come back out, build a few more drills. Nice, look at those. Now I'm going to build a few more food growers because I've got a load of eggplant seeds. So that can go there. We'll put an eggplant seed in you. That could be wrong out of context. <laughs> we'll build another one. And then the power's gone. So we'll craft another solar panel. Power is restored. And then we're going to go check our messages up there. So we're back up here. And is the sky looking a bit more blue? Oh, God, there's another moon. We've grown a moon. And, a, ah, and another one. Right, but our messages, yeah, nothing too much going on in our messages. It's basically all the beginner stuff that I've already worked out. Oh, God. Why is there? Oh, God. There's like asteroids coming in. Look at that. So in case you're wondering why the map is littered, absolutely littered in resources. It's because every so often we get some of these. Asteroid strikes. Oh, look at it. So over that direction, there's loads of new resources. Unfortunately, that's not where we're located. They're way over in the distance over there. I can't even see that one. It's so small. I can feel them though. They're shaking my ladder. Right. So where are we going to go next? I'm tempted to see what's over that way or maybe see what's in this mazy thing. All right. So let's drop down. Gravity is not too strong on this planet. We can fall all this way and we only hurt our kneecaps a little bit. Ready? Ow. <laughs> I went quite red there. Oh, iron. All right, I'll tell you what, for this mission, I'm going to craft a craft station. So I just need some silicon. I thank you. All. And then we're going to try and grab resources that we need, like water and oxygen for a longer journey. So we're going to need some cobalt. We're going to need ice. And then we're going to want to go in here, build our craft station, and craft some water bottles. Ooh. And some oxygen capsules. All right, and then we're ready to explore. I think we're going to go into this maze. I'm intrigued to see what's going to be in there. Ooh, what was that? I just, I feel like I just saw something on here. Let's have a look. No, I didn't. Anyway, we're going to try and get into the maze. Oh, God, there's more. There's more meteors. Right, we're going to have to try and not get too distracted by them. I want to make my way into the maze. I'm a little bit scared, though. Right, we're partly in there, I think. We found a storage crate. Oh, uranium, super alloy, aluminium, iridium. Ideally, I need some space food. Our lives are running out and we can't actually make food ourselves. Oh, look, I found a ramp here. So we'll go up here and it, it doesn't lead anywhere. Great. Another one up there. I wonder, I could build a staircase up there. Ah, oh, some space food. Should I build a staircase up there? Do you reckon there's anything good? Oh, or I can just walk up there. I, ah, I need to drink oxygen. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get up this way first. Yes, we can, it seems. I don't think we're meant to be up here. <laughs> I, oh, I can see through the map. Anyway, we found our second bridge of the game. Quite like that. Utilizing some trusses and cross beams. I'll give this one three out of ten. Bridge review. Right, and you can see here all the carnage from the asteroids or meteors, if you want to call them. Yeah, loads of resources everywhere. So we've grabbed all those. We'll follow the stairs back to our main base. We'll check how our new eggplants are doing. Good work, guys. <laughs> You'll be as big as your brothers soon. We'll empty our hall. And then we're going to de-equip this, our exoskeleton T1, which increases equipment capacity. So we've equipped that. Everything went mental because we didn't have any slots. But now we can craft the exoskeleton T2. Oh, look at it. And now if we equip that, look, we've got another row of slots. So that just means we can keep upgrading ourselves. Very, very nice. All right, I think we're in a bit of a storm, but I'm going to try and find some titanium. I want to build some more drills, get the pressure up. All right, there we go. There's another one. There's another one. The trouble is we probably will need more power. So we need magnesium, silicon, and cobalt. Cobalt, magnesium, and silicon. So we'll plonk another drill down. And another one. There goes the power. But this solar panel pointed at the moon will give us power, right? Yes, it has. <laughs> right, and then I'm a little bit worried. We've, we're running out of food. I've basically only got one more bit of space food left. And we can't grow it ourselves. So we're going to have to find somewhere new to explore. Now, I haven't gone this direction. I can see there's a gap between those cliffs. So we're going for an explore through here. I can see a chest already. Oh, we got more eggplant seeds. We're saved. Oh, and some food. Thank you. And we'll continue this direction where everything's got a bit spiky. I'm not really sure what this place is. It's sort of giving me the creeps. Oh, look, we found some sort of ruin. Oh, is that a solar panel that I can deconstruct? Yes, it is. Meaning I can construct it right here. And thanks to wireless Bluetooth 6.9, we can actually transmit that power back to our base. Oh, good. Right. I need to eat some oxygen. 
Yummy. And then we've got to get to the back because I can see there's a chest. Oh, more seeds, more food. That's what we need. Oh, look, and there's more ruins over here. So another solar panel to deconstruct and reconstruct and another one. And I was going to say and another one, but apparently that's it. But still, three new solar panels. I will take that. Meanwhile, we're going to head this direction. What is this place? And what is that? It's like a huge arch. All right, there's some green glow going on here and another crashed ship. Let's head over there. All right, I've dropped inside. We've We've got some chests. Oh, lots of food, aluminium, super alloys, blueprints, iridium. We've hit the jackpot. All right, okay, let's get out of here. And then we've got to find our way back. Can you see my stairs? That's my mid station. Okay, we've got to go that direction. I'm so glad I built that. Yes, I can see the stairs now. We're nearly home. We're nearly home. Man, that was a hell of an explore. We did pretty well. And after unloading everything into my suitcases, I decided to celebrate by building another food grower and filling it with some more eggplant seeds. Grow, my beauty. You must grow. Oh, and look, we've unlocked a veggie tube T3. I'm going to build one of them. And if we plonk it over here with these... Oh, man, it's huge. Why is it so big? Oh, does it go outside? It does. We can grow plants outside now? Well, there it is. Veggie tube T3. Let's put the seed pesterer in there. And that is producing 26 ppk of oxygen. Whoa, that's like half of what I was producing overall. So what do these produce? Two. So I might actually want to get rid of these and move them all outside. They're so currently in the right nut of this thing. But if they're out here, that's so much oxygen. Right, give me a sec. All right, I've just got a load of silicon and stuff, but my oxygen's about to run out. I'm going to get indoors. Quick, quick. Oh. <laughs> right, that was close. Anyway, let's build a few more of these. So we've built four of these. Yep, and that one. <laughs> There's always an architect involved. We're going to fill that one with a Shanga seed. I remembered I got a few more seeds in here. So we've got another Pesterer, which is 200% oxygen multiplier and another one of those. So nice. With those in, the oxygen should be going up like anything. Let's have a look. 104. Look at the numbers flying. And we've just unlocked the next heater, a T3 heater. So the T2 produced 4.5 heat. The T3 produces 28. But the question is, what does it cost to build. Oh no, it needs something new. An iridium rod. I don't know how to make those, but I do know how to create one of these. A drill T3. Two irons, two titaniums, two aluminiums. So let's build one of these next to this. What the hell? It's huge. Why is it so big? That's what she said. <laughs> so that is the T3 drill. So you can see baby drill, mummy drill, daddy drill. It's a big boy. I need some water badly. I'm about to, I'm about to die. I need some ice. I need some ice. All right. I can see ice. This is going to be clutch. Right. Mine, 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 mine. Back to the thing. Quick, 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 quick. We've got to craft. Got to craft. Water, water. All right. It's crafted. Now drink it. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Oof, I don't know what happens if you actually die of that. Oh, look how blue the sky is. Holy poo. Well, I reckon my base is going pretty well. I'm pleased with myself. We're nearly at the blues. We've nearly reached the blue sky. Not literally with the stairs. We need 175. We're on 147, 148. It's going up. We've pretty much hit that milestone. If you want to find out what happens, you're going to have to join me next time because that's the end of the video. Peace, love and blue skies. Bye, guys. Bye.